In this video, we will talk about systems of linear equations. This video is all about their introduction and how to solve them graphically. Our goals for today are, first off, can we understand and recognize what a system of linear equations is? Our second goal is knowing how to solve them. We understand whether or not the system has one solution, no solutions, or infinite solutions. And lastly, we wanna be able to solve them using graphing. So be sure that you have Desmos up and ready. First goal, what is a system? Can we recognize it? A system in general in mathematics is two or more equations that are used together. In our class, we're gonna be talking about a system of linear equations, linear just meaning lines. So in our class, for our purposes, we'll be studying the most common type of system, which is a system of linear equations, just two lines together. We've dealt already with linear equations and we know how to use and work with lines on Desmos. So now we're just gonna be putting two lines together. The main idea for what the solution to a system is, is that it's where those two lines intersect. The solution to a system is where the graphs intersect. So we can actually have three types of solutions to our systems of linear equations. The first type that we'll talk about is actually in the middle here. Kind of probably the most common type of system that we will see. It's where the system has only one solution because these two lines intersect only one time. So these two lines right here, I gave an example, y equals negative x. That's this line right here with the slope of negative one. And then right here, the second line, y equals two x minus three, we can see this line has a positive slope of two and a y intercept down at negative three. So we have graphed these two lines and we have seen they are completely different lines. They have a different slope. They intersect one time right here and that is their solution. Their solution is the coordinate point one comma negative one in here, that's the solution. So let's point to it. So their solution right there is their point of intersection and here it looks like the coordinate point one negative one. Then let's take a look at actually the first um, picture here. And this would be the case where our system has no solutions or zero solutions. That's because the two lines never intersect each other. What type of lines never intersect? Parallel lines. So in, whenever we have parallel lines, which are lines that have the same slope, but a different y-intercept, we're actually gonna have no solution. So these two lines will never intersect. We can see that these two lines down here have the same slope of negative one half, therefore the lines are parallel. They also are different lines. One intersects the y-axis up at three and the other line intersects the y-axis down at negative two. Our last scenario is where the two lines lie on top of each other, therefore they intersect everywhere. We say that this type of system has an infinite number of solutions or infinitely many solutions. And these are actually the same line. Now they might not visually look the same because we can write lines, recall, in a few different forms. So there's actually two lines being graphed here. The line y equals one third x plus four. That's the line written in slope intercept form. It has a y intercept up at four and a slope of rise one run three. This line down here is our same line written in standard form. When you graph them on Desmos, you will see that the two lines actually are the same and we can sort of toggle them on and off. We'll take a look at that. So here's our three scenarios of solutions to systems. Let's go ahead and get some practice in. Go ahead and um, write this example down. We want to solve this system. We wanna actually see how many solutions it has, whether it has one solution, and in that case, we can find it, no solution or infinitely many solutions. Let's take a look at this system. So I have all of our examples ready to go here. Here's our first example up here. We can see it's the line y equals negative three x plus four. So you type it in there and the line y equals three x minus two. We can see that these two lines here, they intersect one time and we can use Desmos to find their point of intersection. Recall that if you want to make your Desmos graph a little bit more individualized, you can click that wrench up in the top corner there for settings and put the step at one for both. I like to toggle off those grid lines as well. We can see that these two lines intersect once and only once. 
their intersection point is one comma one. So this system has one solution because the lines intersect one time. So this system has one solution. I'm going to go ahead and graph it by hand as well. So up at four here, that's our y-intercept and our slope is negative three, which is down three, run one. So here's our first line graphed beautifully. And then here's our second line. It intersects our y-axis down at negative two and we have a slope of positive three over one. So these two lines, or this system rather, has one solution and the solution is at one, one. In our next example here, we're going to do the same thing. And so we can see that we have two separate lines here. I'm gonna graph these first, first by hand just quickly. Our first line here, y equals x plus two, has a uh, y-intercept at two and a slope of positive one. And I'll continue our line here. There we go. So that's the line y equals x plus two, a y-intercept at two and a slope of one. And then we have the equation x equals negative three. Do we remember what type of line this is? This is a vertical line. x equals a number is a vertical line. And Desmos would tell us that as well if we didn't remember. We can see here that this system, these two lines, intersect one time and only one time right here at the coordinate point negative three comma negative one. So here's their intersection point at negative three, negative one. So that is their solution. So again, this system has one solution and it's at negative three, negative one. I encourage you to take a look at Desmos as well. You can plug in those two functions into Desmos and see that you do in fact get that intersection point there. All right, let's take a look at this one in Desmos. We again wanna graph and classify. Um, I did not mean to keep classify on there. We're just gonna graph it and solve rather. So we're gonna graph and solve the system here. So let's take a look at Desmos. We can see that both of these lines are actually written in standard form this time. So I'm gonna to toggle off my other lines that we used. And here are those two lines written in standard form. I will toggle those lines on. We can see here, if we zoom out quite a bit, and you know we could keep zooming out, we see that these two lines are actually parallel to one another, and therefore they're never going to intersect, meaning they won't have a solution. We could also just double check that they are, they have the same slope. Um, what we could do is you could always count from one point to another point. It looks like here's like two coordinate points on the graph of the blue function. So if we go down three and write nine, that's a slope of negative three ninths or negative one third. We could do the same thing here at these two intercepts, these two coordinate points. We can see that this would be a slope of falling two and running six or again, negative one third. So these two lines have the same slope, the same rise over run. They're parallel, therefore they have no solution. So these have no solution because they are parallel. And I will go ahead and graph them just quickly here. We saw on our Desmos screen that this top line had a y-intercept of three and a slope of negative one third. They both had that slope. And then our other line right here, our second one intersected the y-axis at negative two. and again had a slope of negative one third. So again, these two lines are parallel and have no solution. The system is no solution. Lastly, we wanna do the same thing here. So we're just gonna graph and solve again 
the system. So let's go ahead and use Desmos to graph and see what it looks like. So I'll toggle off my other two and toggle on these two. We can see this top line here, 4x minus y equals negative 5. That is written in standard form. Then our second line here, y equals 4x plus 5, is actually written in slope-intercept form. Let's go ahead and turn that one on. And it looks like the first line went away, but really, check it out. This first line is black. Then if I toggle on the red line, it goes right on top of that black line. So we actually have the same line, uh, and it is just in two different forms. So this system, because it's made up of two lines that are the same line, this system has infinitely many solutions because it's the same line. So graphing this, knowing that it's the same line, I'll graph just that in blue. I'm gonna actually use the bottom one to graph because it's in slope intercept form. So y equals four x plus five is a very steep line just like that. It has a y-intercept all the way up at 5 and a slope of 4, positive 4 over 1. So that's actually the same line twice. So again, this system has infinitely many solutions because it is just the same line written twice. So let's go back to our goals, ensure that we've met them all. Can we recognize a system of linear equations? It's just two lines. Number two, can we tell whether a system has one, none, or infinite solutions? Hopefully now you can, knowing that the solution is where the lines intersect.